This second stabbing attack, which happened in the western part of Sydney, a second stabbing in Sydney in the past four days. So we're dealing with another one this morning, and this one was brutal, and the vision was confronting. It happened during a service last night, which was live-streamed. It involved a 15-year-old offender who's in hospital under police guard this morning. Joining us live now is the Fairfield Mayor, Frank Carboni. Frank, uh, it's good to have you with us on a very difficult morning, another difficult morning for this city. Uh, can I just start off with your reaction to what happened last night? Well, obviously, we were all shocked. It's horrific um, to have this happen in a church, which is a place of refuge where people uh, go to, to, to pray and send messages of peace. It's ab absolutely terrible. And I just want to recognise the parishioners that risk their lives uh, to protect the bishop. Uh, and I hope that uh, the bishop and Father Isaac and uh, all those that were injured, along with the, the police officers, are doing well this morning. I think it's something that's shocked us all. And, I mean, if it can happen in a shopping centre and it can happen in a church, this is, these are not things that we accept here in Australia as Australians and we condemn these actions. Uh, and I think that we all need, need to unite to continue to condemn them. But I think it's, um, it's even more uh, concerning when it's a 15-year-old and we can't, just can't make sense of it, uh, why a teenager would do such a thing. Yeah, and we all want to know why, Frank. Uh, do, do you have any idea why, why the attack might have taken place last night? Well, why, why did Bondi happen? Why did this happen last night? It's just horrific and uh, it's just terrible. Nobody knows why. Um, I mean, it was a 15-year-old teenager that actually done this and it's terrible and I feel for the community who um, obviously are very close to the church and very close to the bishop and, uh, you know, it's just terrible that, that this has happened and it shouldn't happen in any church, in any place, in any place of worship. It shouldn't happen anywhere, in a shopping centre, in the streets or anywhere, but to have it happen the way it did uh, in front of many parishioners, um, I think that's why many people rushed here to protect their their, 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 their parents, their grandparents and many of them, their children that were attending the service. Mm. Uh, and of course, we, we condone the actions of some of the few um, because the police and uh, the ambulance personnel work with the heroes that were trying to do the right thing by um, assisting those that were injured last okay, night. Okay, so just on that, so, so you're saying it's the actions of just some last night who attacked police officers? Well, many would have come back because they were concerned. There was a lot of information going out on social media, much of it that wasn't true, and that fueled a lot of emotions, obviously. So many people came here concerned about their parents who actually attended the church service. But obviously, we condemn the actions of all of those that, 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 that acted quite, mm. quite disgraceful against the police. We, 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 can't, we can't have that in our city. And, uh, but all I can say is that hopefully with a good night's sleep, uh, karma heads have prevailed and... Uh, I just want to reassure the community that I'm out here right now at the moment this morning and, and uh, things have calmed down and we hope that that continues. And, I mean, if this happened here in Fairfoot and it happened in Bondi, it can happen anywhere, uh, Pete. It's, no, yeah. it's not about locations. It, it is unfortunate about... Um, we've, seen who, we, we've seen what happened in Bondi with uh, mental health issues and now we've got a 15-year-old teenager and this is just not on. I, right. My hearts go out to the community. So you think... Um, yeah, because I think sorry. the community is a great community. Sorry, Frank. So you think this might be mental health as well, this mental health as well for this one? Well, the only thing I can say, who in their right mind would do such a thing? I mean, if anyone can tell me who in their right mind would do such a thing, um, I, I, I don't think anybody in their right mind could go to a church service and start stabbing uh, a bishop. I don't think anyone in their right mind could go to the Bondi shopping centre and do what they did as well. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, we'd need to let the police do what they do. Um, I think uh, we're in good hands with the police and hopefully... Um, things will calm down, not okay. just here, but everywhere across the state and the country.